Hello chums, it's quarantini time. We're having another one from the Stalk Club bar book. And this is in the section of drinks for noon. This is when the folks at the Stalk Club really got into some serious drinking. I think the Stalk Club was probably like a New York version of Weatherspoons. You know, everyone's hanging out there at noon, having a pick me up. So we are going to be having a Ralph Bellamy concoction called the Bellamy Scotch Sour. Uh, and it would have been served by the barman Cookie. And it says something like, uh, if any of the foregoing compounds, which were all like hangover cures, if none of the following compounds can abate the grief of a stormy morning, Cookie may prescribe for the drooping customer a very special pick-me-up dreamed up in a bemused moment by Ralph Bellamy, known as the Bellamy Scotch Sour. Now, when I was preparing all the ingredients for this, Mr. Rathbone was looking a bit horrified because unlike the buzz bomb last week, this only has one type of alcohol in it. The buzz bomb had five types of alcohol in it and to be honest, I had to be put to bed after one buzz bomb for half an hour and I lay there like a mummy. I couldn't move. My brain was going, but my body wasn't working for about half an hour. <laughs> so I kind of thought, well, this one's gonna be a walk in a park. It's only got one type of alcohol in it, but it's got six ounces of whiskey in it, which is this much whiskey. And I was making double, because I was making one for me and one for Mr. Rathbone, but Mr. Rathbone looked a bit horrified, because that's a lot of whiskey for one person. So we decided we'd make one Bellamy Scotch Sour and share it, because obviously Ralph Bellamy is made of stronger stuff than us. So, let's get on with it. Bellamy Scotch Sour. So I've weighed out all the ingredients already. You will need three ounces of orange juice. So I've got three ounces of orange juice in there. Two ounces of lemon juice. Six ounces of Scotch whiskey, which we think is about uh, three double whiskies. So you're having one and a half whiskies each if you make the whole thing. A teaspoon of honey. So I'm just going to guess that. I'm just going to squeeze in about a teaspoon. And a dash of the famous Angostura bitters. So I put a dash in there. Now it says, frap until frozen cold in a wearing mixer. Now, as I've said before, I don't have a wearing mixer. I really, really want a wearing mix, but I don't have one. So I was thinking, what does it mean, frap until ice cold? Well, I just thought, okay, I'm going to do it in this cocktail making device that I bought about five years ago and I've never used. It's been in the back of a cupboard. I've never used it before. We're going to use it now. So I'm going to frap this, whatever that means, with some ice. So here we go. Oops. Putting some ice in. I think this is going to be really noisy, so watch out. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Is that one? Oh. Do you think that's frapped? It's looking frappy. It's looking frappy. We're gonna we're gonna see what's happened. So. Um, I'm going to serve it in these lovely glasses. Uh, these were my mum's glasses. She gave these to me. And I'm using Famous Grouse Whiskey, because that was my dad's favourite whiskey. It is my dad's favourite whiskey. I'm kind of dedicating this drink to them. They're both 90 and they're behaving themselves quite well during lockdown. Quite well. So this is dedicated to them. I've got these lovely glasses that are my mum's. And I'm going to use the little tap device on the uh, fancy cocktail thing. So let's see if it works. Oh, look at that. It's like a 
bar lady. Oh, I do like that. A bit drippy though. more in than the other but we can share and in the stalk club bar book it says to serve with a bit of preserved ginger on a stick so I'm doing it like this and I'm going to invite Mr Rathbone in to sample the uh, Bellamy Scotch Sour here he is. Do you oh, want do you want the one with the fancy ginger in it or do you want the one without the fancy ginger? I'll let you have the fancy ginger down. I'll have it the fancy Can ginger. Can with your dress? Oh thanks, it's quite festive, isn't it? Uh oh yeah, next week. Next week. Oh yeah. I kept saying to Mr. Rathbone about this being a Ralph Bellamy Scotch sour, and he kept doing an impersonation of David Bellamy. Oh, look, a nice cold drink will give you instant neuralgia. Only people of a certain age will, will know who he's doing there. But he's going to have even more of an opportunity to do a good impression next week because next week, who's it going to be? Who's it going to be? Who's it going to be? Oh, yeah. It's going to be Marlon Abarando's godfather. So <laughs> we've been trying to do an impersonation of the godfather, but that will be coming next week. Right. Shall we, uh, oh yeah, you might want to get your cotton wool, get your cotton wool in <laughs> for so next week. So, so, let's try this. I'm going to take this out for now. Ready? Cheers. Cheers. Mm. Oh, that's fruity. Mm. And then after you get over the fruitiness of it, you get the get whiskey. whiskey. Yeah. And mm, that's quite nice. It's fruity, mm. and now it's got all whiskey. Fruity whiskey. Yes. Uh, it's supposed to be a sort of Sunday afternoon drink, mm. Ralph Bellamy says. It's Saturday here, but we'll drink it Saturday afternoon instead, eh? Okay. And we might try and put a hammock up later. That'll be funny after one of these. So, um, as usual, uh, thank you to all the people on the front line, everybody working in the healthcare system. Buses. Buses, Trains, bus drivers, shops. train drivers, so shop workers, shop workers, post people, couriers, people in care homes, anyone looking after elderly or ill relatives, everyone who is quarantined, like me. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> quarantined. So, in a Godfather style, we're going to say. Until next week. Until next week. Stay quarantined. <laughs>